Uh, we're here in Ottawa, preparing for the knockout stages of the World Cup after a, well, a vital victory against Colombia. What are your reflections of that game? Uh, reflections are very positive in the first half. I think it's been our best performance to date in the World Cup. Um, and second half, it was about making sure we're diligent in our defending and seeing out the game. And I think you saw different sides to this England side. But I think we're really building momentum now. If you look at us from the first game to the third game, yeah, I think we're really growing into the tournament. With Mark, you can never sort of second guess what his team is going to be. Does that keep players on their toes? It certainly keeps you on your toes, yeah. But I, I think it, it also... For, for opposition, it, it, it's hard for them to, to know what our strengths and weaknesses are, I think, because we're showing different ways of, of defending and different ways of attacking. I think if you look at the French game, nobody would have expected us to come out of that into the Mexico game with you know, such an attacking, creative, positive performance. You know, so we can defend well and stop you know, teams and good players scoring you know, goals and getting in behind us. So, yeah, I mean, as long as we get our defending right, we've got you know, the creative players to help us win games. I think a lot of people are acutely aware that England have never won a knockout game at a tournament. Does that bring with it sort of pressure or is it an incentive to, to change that stat? I think definitely an incentive. I think if you talk to most of the girls, the feeling around camp is very positive. We're not kind of putting that pressure on ourselves and I think, you know, Mark needs to take um, credit for that. You know, it's just so relaxed and he's kind of taken that pressure off us. So we're not going into the game thinking about that. We're going into the game thinking we want to build on the Columbia performance and, you know, progress in this tournament. And every city you've been to, uh, be it on an aeroplane, uh, an airport, or the coach pulling up here in Ottawa, you've had fans coming to see you, get autographs and photos and stuff. How nice is that? Oh, it's really nice, and it's nice to be able to get out the hotel and talk to them and for them to share their experiences as well. And, it, you know, it just keeps you... We're kind of wrapped up in a bubble when you're in a World Cup, but just talking to family and friends and seeing other people and their experiences kind of brings you back down to real life. You know, the World Cup as a whole, I think, you know, the atmosphere that, that fans have created has been fantastic. I think, you know, speaking from the Columbia game, it felt like, you know, the atmosphere that you'd get at a men's game and, you know, the Colombian fans really did, you know, support their team. But for us as an England nation, knowing that that support was there for them, it, you know, the girls really did embrace it and, and played to it, I guess, in the first half and, and really put on a show for them. And now, obviously, preparing for Norway. Um, how tough... Will the Norwegians be? I see them as really, you know, they're tough, they're a physical team. I know from previous experiences playing against them, they're very direct. Yeah, and as I say, they're fit and physical, so we, we know what to expect from them. And, I'm, and I know that our coaching staff would have done all the homework for us and, and get us best prepared. And, and as Mark's shown in the three group games, that, you know, we find a way of beating teams and with different formations and styles and players. So we're excited to see who's going to turn up for this one. And it's not about getting carried away, um, but I think the game is a winnable game for us. Um, but it's making sure we execute Mark's game plan. Um, they're going to be physical, well organised, and they do have key players that can change a game. So we're going to have to be aware of that. I mean, we're, we're hoping to do something better than we've ever done before as a squad and that's get to the quarter-final and, and, and push past that but the 16 you know against not the last 16 against Norway is the most important thing for us to focus on at the moment we want to be here to the final and that's you know our aim we said that before coming into the tournament and once you're very much in it you know it's not about going home no one wants to go home early